What up everyone and welcome back to another Poppy Built video. Yay! Today we are in the beautiful world of Solani again. What? Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. <laughs> this is my favorite world. I'm never not gonna build in it. And today in this beautiful gorgeous island world I am building a tiny little rental. In this rental I really wanted to encapsulate island vibes and Solani itself. So the whole build is going to have, once it's finished, you're going to see it's going to have this beautiful island aesthetic and it is going to utilize a lot of components from the island living pack expansion especially. I built this like... <laughs> four or five months ago. I'm just, I'm just getting around to filming it now. It's just been on the back burner because I've been kind of a goofball and forgetting about it. But I do remember when I was building it that I just fell in love with it and I fell in love with this little walkway especially. Because to me this walkway really just made me feel like it was a hotel. Like these are the types of walkways that I see when there are hotels. If, does that make sense? Like when I visit islands, when I visit the Pacific, when I lived in the Pacific, all of the hotels that we would go to would have all of these beautiful like totem poles that were carved. And, oh, just so glorious, just so gorgeous. And that's what I really wanted to do today in this tiny build is kind of mimic that type of hotel vibe but on a very 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 small scale and these totem poles just do that so well like it already reminds me of hotels i used to visit or whenever my mom was working there places that she would be and i'd come visit and it was just great guys i really want to live in the pacific again is where i'm going with this and today's the little tiny build just Oh, I would love to live in a home like this, right on the water. Gorgeous. You, you can never own anything made of metal. It would rust really quick, but it would be a beautiful place to live. You'd have to get a bike made of wood instead of like aluminium. Um, that's what I think about <laughs> the prospect of living on the water. They say, would you like it? And I go, yeah, but I, I wouldn't be able to have an aluminium bike. And then they think, shut up, that doesn't matter. And that's... That's what I think about when I want to live on the water, is that I want to, but that I'll have to give up my aluminium bike or titanium or whatever type of metal you have. It's corrosive. Salt will kill it. That's the whole story. The end. I love this tiny little home so much already. <laughs> so cute. Again, I really wanted to just mimic a hotel on a smaller scale. And I do genuinely think that this does do that with the nice warm woods. It's just so welcoming. It's so cozy. It's everything you could want. I didn't know what type of wallpaper I wanted to do on the inside. I just, I didn't know if I wanted it to match the outside, if that was going to look good. Eventually I decided to match the outside with the, or to match the inside with the outside. I actually think it turned out very nice. It's very nice and cozy, very warm and welcoming. And I just kept it really simple in the bathroom. And I decided to, again, use all of the island living stuff in here slash just make it I didn't, I didn't obviously end up using all of the island living stuff in here. The bathtub is not from island living. I think it's from the seasons pack. I don't know. I like to use it and then I remember it doesn't have any like complimentary shower and then I get sad so then I don't use it. But I decided to use it today and the vibe of the bathroom was this light wood tone that was very nice and warm, cozy. That's it. That's it. That's the bathroom vibe. Warm toned, wood toned, cozy. Now here in this little entryway, I wanted to make it like a kind of a um, 
transition from the duh it's an intro it's an intro anyway it's a transition from the front door to the back so I decided that they would have some of their pool supplies there so and this would kind of be like the wet room so if they wanted to go from the ocean to the deck to the bathroom they didn't have to go through the kitchen or their bedroom and leave sand everywhere they could go straight from this room right into the bathroom so this is kind of the wet room that was kind of the design of this and is where I kept all of their like beach supplies kind of that was the that was my thought process when designing this specific room and then they had their spare towels there I decided to add some Nifty Knitting Planters. Um, they're my fave. They're so cute. I would like to own some of those in my own home. But I could knit them. Like the strings. Not the planter, that's ceramic. I could make it. <laughs> I get a kiln in my own home. Start a pottery. One of, uh, a person I used to know in high school, he's now like a pottery -er. What is this? profession name a ceramic maker a potterer he professionally makes ceramic products I don't know the specific title or job profession that is but he would have a kiln he has a kiln as his house is where I'm going with it and it, he makes beautiful things so I think it would be so amazing to have a kiln in my own home that again when I am Filthy rich, I'll have a kiln and I'll know how to make um, ceramic goods <laughs> one day. Just one day. But alas, no kiln here in this build. Just a nice little cozy one bedroom rental in Salani. I wanted the kitchen to match the wallpaper. I wanted everything to just be muted, warm, comforting. Very beachy vibes with the kind of tone I'm going with. Like, I feel a person that lived here wouldn't actually probably have their home decorated with such muted colors. Or they might if that's their aesthetic, but they would definitely have a lot more clutter, figurines, like items that have value to them. Or not value, that they just like. Unlike this home, which is definitely a little more reserved, a little bit more fabricated to, I feel fit the aesthetic that a vacationer would be looking for when they booked an island getaway home. So that's kind of the vibe of this place. And I thought that those photos matched the aesthetic so well. Like, it's like, look, you know, when you go to a, va like a vacation home and they have all the flyers on their um, like, entryway that's like, you can do this or this or this for X amount of money. Those photos would kind of be like a promotional thing that maybe the um, owners get a little bit of a discount for promoting for like a dive class or something. This, I decided to go with a dining room table that was a little bit more posh than the one I had there initially. Just cause this vibe, like the whole place is very well kept it's very gorgeous so the the like cracked wooden table I just didn't fit feel fit the aesthetic as much as I wanted it to so I went with this table instead and I like the color schematic of it it's a little bit different add some variety to the build whilst still being very muted because again this is a rental it's going to just be built in my mind to fit everyone's aesthetic Instead of just like a, a specific person or a couple or family's aesthetic. So a lot more like very traditional island vibes. And I love it! <laughs> it's just so cute. I enjoy it. <laughs> As we can see here in the kitchen and living room, it is really muted tones, which is, which is what I've been saying this whole entire time. Again, 
I would love to live here. But what what would happen to my bike? I have to get a wooden bike. That, that would be difficult. Now here in the bedroom, I decided to give them lots and lots of windows, but also curtains, because they, what happens if you want to sleep in a little light? You don't want to be woken up at like 5.30 in the morning <laughs> from natural light. So I gave them all the curtains. And I also, it's just a very simple, nice, chill bedroom. That like when you visit it, you go, oh yes, I love, I love. So the only downside about the curtains is I think they do clip with all of the things I tried to put in here. So that kind of sucks. But again in real life the curtains would just be pushed behind the items. That's, that's how it would work so I kept them there instead. And I decided to put in this nice little blue chair just to mix it up a little bit and give it a slightly different vibe instead of just going with the a cream toned chair which was what I was initially thinking. I also like having the entryway into the bedroom because it means you can get changed into your swimsuit there and then just go straight out and I like that. I really wanted to have those um, beach canvases but they just I couldn't fit them in so I decided not to have them and instead put a few up in the bedroom I put a few more darker wood tones just to make it a little bit more cozy and have a little bit of a different feel from the rest of the home and I think it suits it again the whole entire premise of the build it's a rental it's not your own home but if you decide to download this and you can find all of my builds on the gallery under poppy builds if you do decide to download this you can please clutter it up and then show me I love to see what everyone builds just so exciting. I love The Sims. <laughs> I think we all do. So after trial and error, I was finally able to slide these little chairs in and also add a little bar. So the um, front, or the, sorry, the little balcony section is very, very tiny. I could have expanded it, but I kind of liked how tiny and cozy it was. Because again, this is a tiny home. I didn't want to have a big balcony or I'm sorry deck for it now what I love that I did for the um, entryway which I definitely don't think hotels would do this like this does not remind me <laughs> of the islands these string lights the totem poles do but the string lights that's a different aesthetic right there I decided to add these string lights and they're so adorable I think I think they just look a little different they just make it a lot of stupid screaming today. It's just because I love it. I love all of it. But I think the string lights look really cool. Now my favorite part of, about this whole entire tiny little home build is that the lot itself is massive. And so I thought initially, I was like, oh, okay, I'll just add a few palm trees and let it be done. I put the house in the corner intentionally because I really wanted it to be like on the water. Like have beyond one those like high rises. I don't know what they're called. Um, stilts. They're stilts I believe. And then just put the palm trees and be done. And then I thought to myself, no. I found these um, like stones and debug. And then I said to myself, oh my goodness, add those. And it just took the build, I think, to a completely different level. So after a bit of like thinking, contemplating, what am I going to put in here, blah, 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 blah. As I go through debug and contemplate life and how I wish it was organized. And I know that you can download um, mods for it. And then me going, no, that's too much. I don't want to do that. I found these. I said, oh, okay. I can do something with them. I definitely think these would be at a hotel and I liked it and so I wanted to have them. So I just put I started putting them in little places. 
And here's where I decided, okay, I'm gonna create this little sanctuary for exercise. So that's what that turns out to be. And then I, I just put palm trees. So I made it, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think of the landscaping? Would this be a place that you would stay at? Or would it be a little bit too gimmicky for you? Or would it be not islandy enough? Like, what do you think about the build? Do you like the rocks? I like the rocks. So let me know what you think about them. And if you have visited any islands, whether or not this is a reminds you of hotels that you have stayed at or airbnbs or friends places just let me know what do you think of the build overall i really like it <laughs> that's it that's what i think of it but i decided to add a lot of this shrubbery and because i found it in debug it is pretty cheap this home overall it's not too expensive to stay at it because all of the landscaping i found in debug and I like how the bushes kind of cover the path a little bit. Then I like where I put all of these rocks. And here is where I decided I was going to add a yoga mat. I added two. So that's where they can have their little relaxation station. <laughs> where you can do yoga. Relaxation station is a great name for it though. That's the whole entire build. So let's go into it. So hello and welcome to our tiny home. This is the entryway with the beautiful totem poles. And then here is the front door. So once you get into it, you have the beautiful front little like transition room slash wet room with an easel for a bit of skill building and all of their outdoor gear. Down here is a nice, big, spacious bathroom with lots and lots of breeze. It would be cold to get out of the shower, but otherwise it would be a great place to bathe. And then I love all of those underwater sea photographs. And here is the kitchen and living room. It's all kind of squished together, nice and cozy, very cool vibes, very warm toned in color. And definitely, like, to me, has the vibe of a rental. Or a home of someone that is very, very clean and minimalistic. And then here, this is the bedroom. This has a bit more of a darker wood vibe to it. Just to break up the spaces a little bit. Whilst still retaining island vibes. And look at the cute blue chair. Yay! Out here is our tiny little deck. Where they, if they decide to rent a sailboat, they have somewhere to hook it up to. And that is that. And then around the corner here, after seeing our entryway by, it's gorgeous. They have their own little, another place to hang. And those are in the ocean, which I really like. That's my sim, Amy. She decided to come visit. Just like to bring her wherever. She's just chilling over there. Hi. Here is our yoga relaxation station studio space. And this is the tiny island retreat in Solani. Let me know what you think about it. I absolutely love this build and I can't wait to make more like it. Thank you and peace.